You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for America's original double bubble Jack in the Box bubblegum dispenser. Now, his name is not Jack, and we'll find that out later. And it looks like he's blowing a bubble in there. You can see. I wonder if you could take that out and put a bubble gum in there. Not sure. Maybe you can. Um, that would be cool if you could. Um, let's see here. So we have uh, four items all together. We have the dispenser, which we'll show you first. We have these double bubble eggs, which we're going to be in the Easter series because that's what we got them for. But then thought, well, it's double bubble. Let's put them on just after Easter. So I'll move those out of the way. You have the Pro Ball gumball filled baseball from Double Bubble. So we'll check that out and what kind of gum's in that. And then match it up with this Double Bubble Bubble Gum Team Fun printed with baseball slogans. And you see the one there, it says Grand Slam. So we'll kind of check them all out. So we'll get to that. And then let's see, let me zoom into this here. Kind of show you from the side. It's very colorful. The on off switch is here. Now I have prepped it to get it ready out of the box. There were screws and tape holding it all in. So this is the expiration for the gum that's in there. We won't use that. And then the instructions on uh, turning it on, filling up. Let's see, open the top lid to refill gumballs. And then turn the handle clockwise, double bubble Bill. See, his name is Bill. It's a jack in the box, but his name is Bill. Pops up and gives you a gumball. Push Bill back down and close the lid. Play again as often as you like. Turn the switch off after play. So pop-up feature plays music and dispenses gumballs. Let's check them out. Bill. The box is very colorful on the top also. See that? And then uh, we'll move that out of the way. Now we know how to fill it. And let's take a look at the side there. There's Bill. He's blowing bubbles. Let's just see. Does this open or close? No. It looks like it is glued shut. And then here's where you fill it. Well, let's do that. Let's put some in there. Let's see. Let's put 10 in and see how many it holds. Two, four, six, eight, and 10. So I'm guessing at least uh, two more batches of 10 in there, 30 total. But, you know, you don't want to jam it up, because remember it said on the back of the box, I read that really quickly, please shake the machine a little if gumballs get stuck and do not fall down. So they need to fall down into place so that he can catch the gumball and then it pops out for you. So let's uh, turn it on. Let's see where we're at here. Okay, so it's not at a popping point. You can feel on the handle when it hits, it's like, all right, that's where he pops. So he's just finished the popping. Now when I push that down, a gumball should go in his hands. Let's turn it on and see. We'll do this a few times. There you go. Now this should come out just a little bit more. So I'll set that off to the side. Let me just see if it's set. And it says, pretty cool top. Double bubble jack in the box. So let's do it again a little bit closer for you, huh? So I'm going to feel, I feel it now, so you know that it's going to pop. Nice. Ooh. Every time I tilt it. Now it should work without the sound. Let's try it. So if you don't want the sound, he'll still dispense a gumball, see? Let's do it again. So the music's playing, and whoo! Oh! Didn't get one stuck in there. Let's do it again. Nice. So that works pretty good. Let's do the music again. Okay. So go past it. Got to make sure you turn past it, it looks like. Otherwise, it just keeps resetting. And then in here, maybe you could see it. There's a little door here. Let me show you that. Okay, so when you push him down, let me show you from this angle. 
when you push him down, that pops up and a gumball goes in his hand there. So that's what just happened. Let's do it again. Nice. Remember, every time you touch him, though, it looks like he's very sensitive. Bill is sensitive. Hey, give me a gumball, Bill. Hey, you missed. Well, I'm running out of gumballs, that's why. Oh, green one. Okay. As you know, I can keep playing, so let me just put that in the background there. How do you like that dispenser over the other ones we've shown you so far? Leave a comment. Let's get to these. Maybe we'll do them one more time at the end. These are the bubblegum eggs. Assorted fruit flavors. Now I did a, another gum and it said that, but it didn't say what the flavors were. So what do you think? Lemon? Grape? Let me cut this open here. Get one of my little glass bowls. They're speckled eggs, so they have some nice speckles. The blue ones have white. The yellow ones have like a pinkish. And look at that one. That one's really speckled. Let me see. Can't smell any difference. You know, they've all been intermingling now. So they're all connected. Let's see one of the yellow ones. When you eat gum like this, sometimes it's just really hard to tell the flavor because there's so much sugar. But look at the size compared to one of the gumballs we did earlier. So it's like two in one for the eggs, which is a good quantity. Let me slice one of these open. Really thick shell. Thick inside, too. So you're getting a lot of good gum. It's tasty. Let me grab a blue one. See if I can get an immediate taste difference. You sure do. You know, I'm guessing like a blueberry or a berry. This one may be a lemon or a tropical fruit. Ooh, I like the blue one. It's hard to keep trying the same gum, too. Your mouth gets used to the flavor. Let me try a pink one, though. Mmm. I'm going to say strawberry. These are tasty. All right. Next one. The Double Bubble Kids Mania Pro Ball. I don't see an easy way. Let me get my trusty knife. I'll cut off camera. Now you peel this off. And it still says Double Bubble, which is cool. I like it. It's sort of like a surprise baseball. Okay, I got rid of that gum. I'm thinking, or I'm guessing now, that the gum that's in here is this. Would everybody guess that? Here we go. No. Ooh, cool. Ah, stickers. Hey, where did it say stickers? Colorful stickers. Reflective. And the gumballs are tiny. Mini me gumballs here. Now these are even smaller. We could do a size comparison if you want. Let me get one out. I'm happily surprised it wasn't the wrapped gum. But now look at the size difference. And then here's one of the big ones. Whoa, don't roll away. Stay there. See? This is what this one is. And your stickers. 
pro ball. We have the other shapes here, the football, the soccer ball, so we'll show you those in a future video. Okay, enough gum chewing. Put that away, put that away, and let's get out the last item here. The baseball is cool, and it's a good size. I want to say a little smaller than a league ball, probably. So the last one was this Double Bubble Team Fun printed with baseball slogans. i got to get another bowl out here. Hold on a second. It's an easy reach. I'm just going to dump them all in here, and we'll take a look at them and kind of read them, see how many different slogans there are. All right, so we have bullpen, walk, spitball, that's kind of funny, chewing gum, batter out, ground out, ooh, I wonder how many different ones there are, we haven't had a double yet, walk, we had that one. Shortstop, walk, have that one, slider, I don't think these would work in the gumball dispenser, they're just a little too big, another slider, here's one that says triple, I do have to try one of these, ground out, I'm going to try one, let's try one of the walks. I wonder if it just, uh, I wonder how the black stays on. Ooh, it stays on good. Now this broke apart in a lot of pieces. Bullpen. Umpire. Bunt. Short stop, but hard to read that one. Does that say F dot B's? B I S? Hmm. Safe. I think we got them all better. Yeah, there we go. Strike out. I don't think we did that one. The gum is tasty. You know, with gum like this, you get that initial sugar blast, flavor blast. I can't say it has a particular flavor. You just know you're getting something that gives you that quick sugar and sweet taste in your mouth. So that was the Team Fun Bubble Gum. So what do you think? Um, got a lot going on here. A lot of different things for the Double Bubble Series, and we have more. I'm guessing another two videos worth of stuff and our largest dispenser yet to show you. And let's just end up with our bill in the box. Well, let's turn it on with some music. And here we go. Last time for him. Oh, that one worked perfect. Nice to end a video where everything just worked right, where it rolled out just the way you wanted to. And thanks for watching. And if you want to see other videos in this Double Bubble Series, look in that description for a playlist or search our channel. Thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.